Hello fellow witches, wizards and muggles. Today I have a new Harry Potter haul video for you. I'm channeling Luna Lovegood. Um, so anyway, let's get started. So, first of all, I went to the Warner Brothers Studios in London on Saturday. Uh, this was my... I can't remember if it's my third or my fourth time. Uh, but it was the first time that I've been... Um, in the non-Christmas period, whenever I've been before, um, it's always been decorated for Christmas and uh, snow in Diagon Alley and the Hogwarts Castle. Um, obviously, every time I go, I love it, it's amazing. I must say I do prefer it when it is Christmas and it's snowy, it just looks more magical at that time of year. But, uh, because I went there, I obviously went into the Warner Brothers Studio shop and bought a few little goodies um, and I've also picked up a couple of things over the past uh, month uh, it was my birthday so I've got a couple of little things there um, so yeah I'm just going to give you an update of all things Harry Potter that I've got over the past month or so so first of all new wand uh, I said that I wanted my next one to be Luna Lovegood's wand and that's the one I decided to get and it's absolutely beautiful So uh, yeah, really pleased that I've now got another one for my collection. Um, I'm now getting into uh, needing a one stand. So I'm going to either try and DIY one um, or maybe buy one from somewhere. I'll see. Uh, if I do DIY one though, I might do a video on it or a blog post. So um, anyway, I'll keep you posted on that. And obviously you saw me wearing some of Luna's glasses. Now this came with a poster that I bought from the shop, Quibbler, and it came with some glasses. There we go. So yeah, this is just something else to put on my wall. Uh, this picture was 5 95 I will give you the prices for things that I do know. Um, most of them hopefully got it on there. Um, but there might be some items that I've got for gifts that I'm not aware of. So, um, yeah, so that's the first item, this Quibbler poster. Next up is this lovely scarf. It's a bit creased at the moment, but it is a Deathly Hallows scarf. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, this was £16.95. I'm a big lover of scarves. I wear them a lot. Um, so yeah, $16.95 for that. I keep it on for the rest of the video. Next up, this is technically a cup, um, but I think I'm going to use it as a pen holder in my office. It is a little cauldron. Uh, the guy did say it is dishwasher safe and it is microwave safe. Um, and you could use it as a little soup bowl as well, but I thought it was really, really cute. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to be using it as a pen pot. Uh, this was £13.95 for this. Next up is a key ring and it is a pygmy puff. So cute. Um, I think next time I want to get the bigger one. The, the, the slightly bigger ones make sound as well. Uh, but yeah, just that was a cute little, little key ring. And that cost £6.95 for the little pygmy puff. And they had it in purple as well. Next are a couple of sweet items. So I have got a Honey Dukes lollipop. This is just going to be for display purposes. I'm not going to eat it. Uh, but this was $3.95. They did have a really big one as well, which was a bit more expensive. But I decided to have this size. So um, yeah, Honey Dukes lollipop. Next, chocolate frog. You've always got to get chocolate frog. I've not opened it yet, so I'm going to unbox it here and let's fingers crossed that I get a card that I've not got before. There we go. So, so far I have got Helga Hufflepuff, Rowena Ravenclaw and Albus Dumbledore. Oh, it's another Rowena at Ravenclaw. Never mind. Have have one to swap with somebody. So, um, 
Here we go. Here's the cord. That's the box. I've got a few of these now. And here's the chocolate frog, which I won't eat, but um, these are like like solid chocolate as well. Uh, this cost eight ninety five, but yeah, that is solid chocolate. It's not hollow, which you'd expect to pay. You know, if you're paying nine quid for it, you'd be annoyed if it was, if it was hollow. Next up are these Deathly Hallow earrings. Really cute. These were ten pounds. Yep. Yeah. This is one of my favourite items. I don't remember seeing this any other time in the store. So whether it's a, a new one or not. <laughs> but it is the shrunken head from the night bus. And wait. So I absolutely love this. Um, I think I'm going to mainly display it in my office, but I do want to have it hung from my car for a little while just to see what people actually think and whether they think I've actually got a real shrunken head dangling from my car. Um, yeah, so awesome, love that. This was thirteen ninety five. Next up is a ring that I bought. Uh, it is a golden snitch ring. I absolutely love it. This is my other favourite item that I bought. I will insert some footage um, of of it here as well, but this is my golden snitch ring. Let's try and focus in on it. So it's it's really really nice. Let me try and take it off and see if you can have a look. It's a bit hard. I'm holding it. it the, the camera finds it hard to focus but I'll put some footage in um, yeah I absolutely love this I saw this in the display they've got so many nice things in like the jewelry displays uh, this was I think 55 pounds let me just check yeah 55 pounds for this ring um, so yeah it's not like a, like a really really cheap one but um, I wanted to get this because I absolutely loved it um, so yeah I think it's my favorite my favorite piece of jewelry item at the moment along with now Phil bought me a Pandora bracelet for my birthday and they have charms in the um, studio shop and they fit on two Pandora bracelets. So I got a golden snitch charm that you can see there and I've put it onto my bracelet. So um, absolutely love that. I think that's everything that I bought from the shop. Um, I've just got a couple of things now that I've got kind of, you know, as gifts or things like that. Now the next two items are from my friends Nat and Ted. This pillow here, hopefully you can read that. Absolutely love it and um, whenever I look at it I can't get, can't get the song out of my head. Uh, so yeah they basically put just a wizard girl living in a muggle world took the Hogwarts train going anywhere. So yeah absolutely love this. I've got this on our bed at the moment. Um, so thanks Nat and Ted and along with that they also got me this drinking glass it's colour changing so when it's warm it's completely white and then when you put a cold drink in it this cut you know comes up in colour um, so it's it's really really cool I do like my vino um, so this will come in handy so that's really cool. You can't really see it. The reflection's really bad on this, so you can't see it too well. But yeah, it's really cool. Keely gave me this notebook, which is a Hufflepuff notebook. I'm obsessed with notebooks anyway. I go through loads, um, so I'm really pleased. I have got a Gryffindor one of these, but I am in Hufflepuff house, so to have this one is awesome. Two other items I got. These are both books. Now, I bought both of these on Kindle when they first got released but I wanted to have the 
physical copies too because I like them for display purposes and also it's nice just to have the physical book. So Harry Potter and the Cursed Child which I have seen uh, which I thought was amazing. There's obviously so many mixed reviews on it. Um, people that are probably reading it without seeing the the play yeah I, it probably isn't going to be that great and it probably does come across as fan fiction but I saw the play first before reading this and I loved it um yeah so if you haven't seen the play try and get to see it I know it's difficult because it's hard to get tickets but and then the next one is the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them screenplay um and yeah obviously the film's been out for a while now absolutely love it I just I love the design of this as well um, it's Mina Lima that do all the designs for like the um, Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts stuff um, but again this is a screen this isn't the Fantastic Beasts book this is the screenplay of the Fantastic Beasts movie there is a Fantastic Beasts and where to find them book which is essentially a textbook of all the magical beasts uh, written by Newt Scamander and it is one of the required reading for the first years of Hogwarts um, and I haven't got that yet I don't think no I haven't but they've just really Bloomsbury have just released a brand new cover design for that so I'm going to buy that one because it looks really cool the last thing is this book Harry Potter Magical Places from the films um, now I have recorded a flip through of this book for people that are interested uh, the reason I did that is that sometimes you know some of these books are quite expensive and you want to be able to kind of flick through and see if it's something that you want to buy so I have recorded that um, and that will be going up soon um, once it is up I will link it to this video but it probably won't be out until after this one anyway um, but yeah it's basically a big book of all the places from the films it gives you kind of little bit of bits of information you've got set photos you've got um, sketches concept art all that kind of stuff in there it's really interesting actually um, but yeah um, I will have a video flipping through this for those of you that are interested so thanks very much for watching um, as soon as I've got a few more bits and bobs together I will do another Harry Potter haul video um, thanks as always for supporting my channel um, if you could click like if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already I would really appreciate that have a great day thanks bye